Hello everybody and welcome. I am Pink Girl Teaches and on this channel I talk about narcissistic abuse awareness as well as tips for recovery. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. I invite you to press subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share. If you are coming back, well, it's great to see you and thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate you guys so much. So today I want to talk about marriage and the narcissist, and I want to bring it from a few different perspectives or just highlight a few different things. One of the things I want you to also um, think about or that I want to touch on, should I say, is when the narcissist marries the new supply and you're watching it or why the narcissist married you. You know, you have to remember that when it comes to the narcissist, they are self-serving. They do not do anything for any good intention. It is always about them. What do they benefit from the situation? So even if it's you that they married, it was never really about a union, like a genuine union between between the two of you. It was all about them and how like, you are going to serve the narcissist and what they want from you or what they are able to obtain from you. And it's no different if you find out that they're marrying the new supply. Listen, if they're marrying the new supply, good riddance. It's got nothing to do with you. Don't be jealous. Don't be upset. Don't feel like you're missing out on anything. Because what you gain is peace, clarity, and the ability to move on into a healthy, productive relationship that the new supply will not get at the hands of the narcissist. So I have a few things that I want to mention. Now, I did say that the narcissist is self-serving. So nothing in this union, nothing in this marriage is about a partnership. It's not loving. It's all one-sided. And who wants to be bonded? Who wants to be tied down legally to a one-sided relationship? You know, it's easy to break up with somebody and deal with those repercussions. But legally, like now you have to go through divorce. You need to involve the courts and, oh. It's not even worth the headache. And so don't be upset or mad about what's happened. You know, one thing, one reason why the narcissist may marry somebody is because they feel like that's the right person to be um, subservient to them, to cater to all their needs, to be their forever supply. Because a narcissist is always going to have to have somebody in their back pocket. And so that's what the spouse really is. You know, you're just there to cater to the narcissist. And the narcissist may pick this person for a variety of reasons. One, you may still be asleep to the narcissist. You may be a good source of narcissistic supply. They feel like you don't have the power to walk away from the relationship. And so you're never going to leave the marriage, no matter what kind of abuse they throw your way. You are just there to cater to the narcissist period. So you do find that once 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 a narcissist does get married, the mask falls off, especially if the if their partner has been asleep and you know is not aware of who they truly are with. And they may never be aware at this point, but the mask drops off. The love bombing is over and you're in a perpetual state of discard. I mean of devaluation because the narcissist has you in the back pocket and you know one thing that they've said or that they say, and this was said to me, where do you think things would go from here? Like, we're married now. What more do you want? What more would you expect out of this? Like, you know, and I was really taken aback when I heard that. And I was just like, oh, okay. And, you know, so things do tend to go downhill pretty fast. So if you're looking at him moving on with his new supply, don't even... Go live your best life and ignore that because nothing good is happening there. And I'm telling you from my experience, I'm not picking this up from a book. I'm not picking it up from anybody else's chant. I am telling you from my experience, this is what it's like. This is what it's like. And if you're going in there, you want to be married for the right reasons. You want a life partner. You want to build a family. You want, you want that love that stands by you. The narcissist is incapable of giving it. You know, you become the narcissist punching bag. When things don't go right with their other sources of supply out there, or their supply is questioning them, but you have a wife, you have a husband, what do you want from me? Guess who's getting blamed for that? That's right, the spouse. I did you know and sometimes the narcissist just wants to marry you so that when it's appropriate and when it's the right for them they can just say oh my family you know how 
you may need like um, a plus one for certain work functions and they know that you're married because it's HR and they see your tax exempt stuff and they know that you have a family, the narcissist just wants to be able to put you on display and say, this is my family, but <laughs> there's no family because there's no unity, there is no togetherness. And once it's over, you get discarded and you have to go back in the corner and deal with whatever emotions, not just you are dealing with, but the children. And so, you know, don't envy the narcissist or the new supply when they get married. And um, you're not missing out on anything. Like, I promise you, I promise you, I think the years that I was married were the loneliest years of my life. I've never felt so alone and I just got something just popped in my head and because it did pop in my head I'm going to mention it so I remember like our children when they were much younger and we didn't get the chance we never used to have the opportunity to go out a lot because you know we was like who's gonna watch the kids and that kind of thing which you know thinking about it now there was always somebody who could have watched the kids so that we could do stuff but it was always about what he wanted to do and he needed to be free to prowl for new supply. So I remember one time we, we didn't have the kids, they were off with one of the grandparents. And I said to him like, oh, you know, we should go out, we should do something together. And this person said to me, I'm not that bored to do anything with you and proceeded to get dressed and leave. And so when you, you know, this is, this is how they hurt you. They, they dig into the very things that they know that you want and just stab you in the heart and you know, I know that some of you who are watching this, who have been married and are married to the narcissist are experiencing this kind of pain, but I need you to now begin to afford it, you know, build a fortress around your heart. You need to start doing the inner work to heal whatever it was that attracted you to the narcissist. And you need to let your skin get thick. They should become non-factors because you are the powerful one here. You are the reason you know, your wonderful qualities are the reason that they wanted you because let me tell you something, you don't need them. They offer you nothing. They bring nothing to the table. They are good for nothing. You are who they need. And so just remember that the power ultimately lies with you. So don't look into their new relationship or their new marriages and feel like you're missing something. You are missing nothing but a headache. And now you have the opportunity to move forward and really embrace who you are and who you are going to be in this life and live a peaceful life. Like it's good when you're narc free. Like, I mean, like your skin glows and your edges flow and life is good. So don't even worry about that. Like pay them no mind. And if you're in the marriage, you just have tough skin and, and disengage every time that you can. When they try to bait you into an argument, don't go there disengage them every time, enjoy the periods of silent treatment. And if you want to get out, then start putting a plan together because that's not what life is about. You were never created to be a doormat in somebody's life. And I'm not, you know, I'm just telling you to value yourself. Think about what it is that you want, who you are, and honor that person. And I promise your future ver the future version of yourself will thank you. So this is all that I wanted to share with you today. If you find anything that I've had to say interesting, I invite you to press like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. And turn on the notifications. Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Goodbye.